Whoa. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Egypt. Welcome to Dahab. Beautiful little place. And we're right over on the eastern side of Egypt. Uh, very close. Just across there, 30 kilometers away, is Saudi Arabia. 50 kilometers up this way is Jordan and Israel. Absolutely scorching here. It's about six o'clock in the morning and it's already 30 degrees. As you can see, sunshine. They get very little rain here. They only get a few inches of rain here every year. It's, it gets to about 35 degrees in the middle of the afternoon. That's why I've come out early to make this video. So it's a very dry place. So you need plenty of water. Apparently Dahab translates into gold. And it is a piece of gold. It's a piece of paradise, as you can see. Absolutely stunning place. And as you can see, someone's had a fire over there. But anyway, now we're just going to take a little walk along the beach just down here and I'll take you into the little town of Dahab. Everyone's just getting up, just starting their, starting their day. And this is the town here. You can see a couple of mosques popping through the skyline. And then when you get in this water, it is quite cool. And check it out and this beautiful coast goes right right up there locals fishing he's got he's just got a single line and a weight on the end and he's just throwing it out right, okay you fishing ah. any fish no. nothing hey. <laughs> But there's a lot of different activities to do around here. So anywhere along here, you can, you can just stick a, a snorkel and a mask on and just go for a little snorkel. And it's full, full of coral. It's very colorful. We've got private boats here, speed boats. I have to look for a place to try and get inside because maybe the water comes right up to the buildings. And I got me uh, shoes on, so I don't want to get wet feet. Oh look, someone's poured me a cup of tea. Tea and keys, someone's left the keys there. Bit of partying going on there, I think. Last night. Check it out. So beautiful. Quiet, very peaceful, very tranquil. You're cleaning up after the party. <laughs> You're cle cleaning. Morning. Morning. Yeah, clean up. Yeah. Join me. See, so here's a house for rent here. Or maybe apartments inside. But they get a little bit pricey down at this end. Some of them go for about $100 a night. No parking, only if it's a Chinese motorbike. So one thing at the moment, you need air conditioning here. And if you're lucky, a swimming pool. But yeah, you do need air conditioning and a nice ceramic floor room to keep cool because it is so hot. And as you get further down here, it goes into a little town with a little market, lots of cafes, lots of restaurants. So I think we'll have a look down here, see if we can get into, into town. I need a coffee. It's getting hot down there already by the beach. You become what you believe. Is it this way into town? Yeah. All the way. Oh, thanks. So I think I'm going this, yeah. That's the mosque, that's the biggest mosque in town. And this is the way back into town. And I've got a nice bit of shade to walk along here. And that's a classic old Volvo. Hello. Hello. How, how old is this Volvo? How, how old? 
20 years, 30 years, oh, 40 years. <laughs> and there's a few of these Jeeps around. So it's still nice and quiet. And they have here, they have a few, all, all the meat is sold fresh. Chickens, ducks, turkey, quails, pigeons, geese, rabbits. And you come in here. And those are all waiting excitedly for somebody to come along and eat them. Hello. Money. Yeah? Money? I haven't got any money. Ask your daddy. I can't see any cafes that are open for a coffee. There's a cafe over here. So I might go and have a little coffee here. Let's have a look. If it's open. It's not open, he's still cleaning. So there's a couple of cafes that might be open down here. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. What are they queuing up for? Probably buying like meat, fresh meat, butchers. Oh, bread, fresh bread for sandwiches, like pita breads, little mosque or something. So around here, a lot of Bedouins are living in these houses. Yeah. So these are the mean back streets of Dahab. Wild. Lots of like chalk drawings on the walls. Someone's drew, drew a helicopter over there. And flies. And this in front of me, this is what they call a lighthouse. For obvious reasons. And here's a guy back in his Volvo. Oh, it's a different one. Must be quite popular, those old Volvos. But yeah, as I was saying, this is called a lighthouse for obvious reasons. And it gets quite developed down there. Lots of rooms, guest houses, little bakery over there. Let's have a little look. You see it, they make it really quickly. They just throw it in. And it cooks really quickly. Little pita breads. And here's some of those quad bikes I was talking about. Offer a little trip through the uh, through the mountain valleys. Anyway, back down here in the shade again. I don't know if anybody lives in these buildings. Or well, they're just abandoned, <laughs> like all these big piles of rubbish. Cats. Egypt is famous for cats. There's cats everywhere. Back in India, it's dogs. Here, it's cats. It's an old Mercedes with very old air conditioning by the looks of it. <laughs> Check it out. Only in Egypt. The centre of town when nothing's open. 7.30 in the morning. And uh, as I say, you can see there's a lot of development going on now. A lot of new streets, paving stones being built. Because before, it was like this. And when I came here, I came here in the middle of the lockdown just over a year ago. And it was looking a bit, bit rough, the town. A lot of businesses had closed, collapsed after being locked down. And uh, I'm happy to see that there's a lot of restoration gone on in the last year. A lot of uh, new businesses opened up, new restaurants, hotels, cafes. 
so I think there must be a cafe here open because there's a guy sat over here smoking his hooker pipe let's see if we can get a coffee is it open I think it's open let's go and get a coffee in here oh you're making Turkish coffee on here yeah coffee? sugar? Yeah, uh, one, one sugar one sugar oh, okay yeah small Turkish coffee Turkish coffee is very popular here and uh I think he's gonna cook it on that hot sand. Yeah, I've seen them, I've seen them doing this on YouTube videos. Oi. Yeah, yeah. I, I only see this before on video. <laughs> okay, yeah, no yeah. problem. Yeah. It's very, very traditional, yeah? Yes, where are you from? Uh, Liverpool. Liverpool? <laughs> yeah. Mohammed Salah. <laughs> yeah. Mohammed Salah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Liverpool, my home. My home. <laughs> yeah. What? What's it? Oh, that's for the game. Koi. Game, 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 game. Yeah. Koi, koi. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you can see, it's completely empty. Everyone's still at home, asleep in bed. All right. Thank you. I haven't tasted Turkish coffee before it's got quite a little bit of an earthy taste quite grainy a uh, little bit thick sometimes a little bit of a nutty flavor and it's very nice that coffee back there 20 20 pounds for a Turkish coffee I think that's the most expensive coffee but I had one in Cairo in the bus station. They asked me for £40, which I think was a bit overpriced. So this, this is the area, the place where I'm staying, right next to the, right next to the bakery. Couldn't be, couldn't be situated next to a better place. We do a lot of fresh bread in there. And this is the place over here. Little camp in here, set back from the road. El Feyra's, El Feyra's camp. And this is where I stayed like uh, just over a year ago. We got all these little rooms, my room's just over here. And I'll just, just show you the, the little house where I used to stay. Are you okay? Sorry? Good morning. Got a little kitchen over here. And there's a guy cooking traditional Bedouin food in these little ovens. So we put the food on here and, and put it in there and, and cover it and it gets very hot and they, do, and they cook like chicken, lamb. Nice to sit in here, sit down here at the end of the day under the stars and they got like lights around the trees and as I said the dates full of dates you can actually pick them give them a little wash and eat them and this is the little house where I used to stay very nice and it's all been renovated now as you can see he's put a new floor down use nice So this is my little room and it's nice and cool when you just step in here because I've not long been up. It's only about eight o'clock now. Yeah, two beds, electric points everywhere, uh, nice lights, like really low lights, air conditioner, which is going on right now. Ah, bed. Slept on here last night. Ice box. You need one of these to put your water and your honeydew melon and your olives. This is essential. 
There's my uh, flippers and my snorkel. I paid about $15 for these, a new set. I got a new set because of, there's places that rent them, but they're, uh, they're all pretty trashed. And then the bathroom, nice bathroom, nice power shower, very strong shower, little mirror there, flushing toilet, western toilet, little built-in wardrobe, couple of coat hangers, what more do you need? And uh, I'm gonna chill out for a little while, freshen up, and then I think I'll go for breakfast. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope, I hope you liked it. I hope you saw the beauty in this little town, Dahab. Um, it's about 10 hours on the bus from Cairo, if you're interested. Beautiful place, come and check it out. Anyway, keep your eyes open for the next videos. Uh, I'm gonna take you for a little breakfast tour, a little food tour, and we'll go for a swim. We'll do, do a little bit of snorkeling. It'll be nice. See you later. Thanks for watching.